Hello, Darrell here from Select Driving School. Following a series of requests, I put together a short video to help people navigate the Orange Street roundabout in Halifax, more commonly known as Broad Street due to its proximity to the, the new cinema complex. Um, this is a gyratory or spiral roundabout, meaning that the way the roundabout is marked out, if you follow it correctly, you don't actually need to consider a lane change. The lines will take you to the correct place. Now, we're going to concentrate mainly on making right turns today on this roundabout because that tends to be the one where people find it uh, sometimes trickiest to see how the markings would guide them off the roundabout. But we will also be looking at going left and going ahead and helping emphasise to you the importance of good, good lane position um, and how it's going to help you when you come off the roundabout. I uh, hope you like the video. If you do, please click like. Um, you can also send in any more requests to me for any other subjects you'd like me to cover, um, either using this YouTube page or at my website www.selectdrivingschoolhalifax.co.uk. So, let's go on to the roundabout. So, right hand turns on Broad Street roundabout. This time we're going to go towards Leeds over the flyover. So we're on the right hand side, right hand lane as we approach. One piece of advice I always give people at this little section here is to not block the section in front of me. Stay behind the traffic light if there's already two or three cars queuing. The main reason for this is just behind is because just to our right behind the Broad Street Cinema complex is the ambulance station and the ambulances use the car park exit to try and get to wherever they need to go. As you can see, the cars on my left hand side, they've already blocked that exit. So if an ambulance is called now, he's going to have to wait. You're not going to miss the lights because these always stay green long enough for you to get through the next set, which is the NATO 3. Anyway, we're now going into the roundabout. So we're going to use this path or map so we can see the line on my left hand side. I'm just going to stay with that line. So I'm not going to stay with the roundabout as we get here. The right hand lane is now becoming the left hand lane. And as you can see by just following that line, I've ended up naturally in the left hand lane, ready to leave the roundabout. Staying again well within the lines, and coming off the roundabout at this point here, onto the flyover. You can give a signal if we feel we're onto at that point, although the truth is it doesn't really add a great deal on this particular roundabout. So we're now approaching the roundabout, coming over the flyover, we're going to go towards Keithley. Again, it's a right hand turn, so right hand lane. Remember the right hand lane becomes the left hand lane. We've just gone past the first exit, we can see the second exit and the right hand lane will now become the left hand lane. So we can just see around the corner to the right a white van that's just moved off he's in the left hand lane that is where we're going to be ending up now if you find the markings a little bit hard to follow a lot of people do because they're not the clearest or most well marked roundabout in the country a good tip here for when you're doing a right turn is to use the bollard that we can see directly in front of us now if you drive towards that bollard and then basically just turn away at the last second so that we obviously don't hit the bollard, you'll find that you're in the exact position. So we see we're following this line, but we're also driving towards the bollard. So you can use the bollard as a target. Turn away, and we're in the left-hand lane. So again, the right-hand lane has become the left-hand lane. No need to make a conscious lane change. We stayed well out of the way of other traffic. We're in the left-hand lane ready to leave the roundabout, going to go on Ovenden Way. And again we're just going to complete this exit so you can see how that works. Again, setting off as the lights go green, a quick check to the left to make sure everybody's behaving themselves, get into second gear early and then stay off the gas. We don't want the car to be too fast as we go around this corner because the road falls away from us and it's a bit rough and you can't be bounced into the outside lane. And you can see the cars that want to overtake us, 
will be taking us on the outside. They don't cause us any problems. And from a driving test point of view, it's going to make your life a lot easier being in this left-hand way. Okay, so we're going to approach the roundabout now, coming from Ovenden Way, going to go right, third exit towards Burnley. So we're already in the right-hand lane as we approach the roundabout. A little bit busy today, so that might give us a little bit more time to talk about things as we go around and also to uh, to look for some of the markings. This can sometimes catch people out because you have to be really, really disciplined to try and make sure that you get yourself from the right-hand lane and as I said before, right-hand lane becoming left-hand lane as we approach the town centre. So we're coming on to the roundabout now. We're staying between these lines. Town centre Burnley, you can see I'm still within my lane. Now as we come around here, we've got past the first exit, we see the second exit. We're staying between the lines. So we see we go between those two crosses and then we just turn at the last second so that we end up in the left hand lane. So as I said, right hand lane becoming left hand lane, but you have to be quite disciplined there. You drive behind the back of the middle lane in effect. And now we're in the left hand lane, ready to just come off the roundabout and proceed up towards the bay. make a left turn now so approaching in the left hand lane remember left hand lane for ahead left hand lane for left the only time you want that right hand lane is if you're going to go right so left hand lane naturally just easily filtering around staying on the left in the left hand lane as we come off staying nice and within the lines and then off down the flyover picking up speed towards the speed limit Okay, so here we are, we're coming up towards the roundabout from the town centre. We're going to go towards Keithley this time. So, as I said before, if we're going ahead or left, we just stick with the left lane. So, easing on, easing into the left, very left-hand lane here. Already got the car in second gear, so it's already quite a controlled speed. Easing down here, off the gas, little signal to say we're leaving. Ease the car around, no gas, and then Build your speed up quite quickly, get yourself up to the 40 miles an hour. Again, in this left hand lane where other traffic is less likely to interfere with your journey. Okay, so we're now going to do the town centre. So we're going to use the left hand lane as we approach the roundabout. And again, we're following this line, the line that on this occasion is just on my right hand side, staying with that line takes me naturally into the middle lane. We're not using the left hand lane this occasion because it's a car park only. As we come round that corner we can see again a little path or a map, two lines staying within them, naturally in the left hand lane. And we leave the roundabout on the left, going past the cinema complex. Nice and straightforward, no need to be using the lane on the right, got more options in this lane we can go left down towards the bus station we can go ahead into town or we can turn right up towards Huddersfield and towards Bull Green it's very important you realize that because on your test you may be asked to make a right turn off the roundabout and head for Huddersfield that will take you towards the town center don't think you have to be in the right hand lane to turn right here because you can turn right from either lane and the one that's most likely to serve your purpose as well is going to be the left hand lane. Okay, so this time we're going to go ahead at the roundabout, going towards Keithley. We did this earlier in the video and we emphasised the importance of trying to use the left hand lane. So ahead of us we can see two lanes, both marked up Keithley. This left hand lane that I'm currently in would lead to either one of them. We would prefer to be behind where the lorry that just pulled up is to make our life easier. However, 
we may end up in the right hand lane either for a lapse of concentration or maybe you know we've decided that we would like to get past a slightly slower moving vehicle as many drivers do we feel the need to do that so let's assume that that's what happens we end up in the right hand lane to you to leave the roundabout as I'm about to do now I've not done anything wrong but the important thing is especially if it's a driving test that we deal with it correctly so we use this lane to leave the roundabout again coming off now on the right hand side now the important thing now is that when we get into the straight we pick our speed back up we get up towards the speed limit and as soon as it's possible we move back to the left hand lane making good checks in our left mirror maybe over our left blind spot as well to make sure that none of the traffic that was in the left hand lane is trying to beat us and speed up on our inside that is the biggest problem that you might cause yourself by using that right hand lane but if we deal with it correctly get ourselves back over to the left at the earliest opportunity once we're in the straight then we'll find that that is not an issue and we still won't cause ourselves a problem on our driving test where we will have a problem on our driving test is if we stay in that right hand lane all the way up here so if I was still in the right hand lane now that would almost certainly be looking at a positive uh, a serious fault or if when we try to move to the left hand lane we're not looking properly for other traffic or we're not signalling or we're not speeding up sufficiently if we're driving slowly in that right hand lane then we might find it very hard to move back so it's important you get up to speed check for other traffic signal your intentions and move over safely as soon as you can